Hello, YouTube. I got a request, and um, it's about installing Ubuntu on the HP DV7 6135. This should work for all HPs that have a DVD drive. You can't use the USB installation method because it's actually failed on me quite a few times. So today I'm going to show you how to do it through a CD method. You're actually going to need to have a DVD. I have a Memorex brand DVD Plus R which contains 4.7 gigabytes of data. So the first thing you're going to want to go do is go to their Ubuntu website. So just ubuntu.com. Then you're going to want to go here to the download section. Ubuntu desktop and for most of you guys, you might want to use 12.04, the 64-bit version. But if you're a daredevil and want to get the cutting-edge features, you can use 13.10. Um, this isn't guaranteed support. I've used 12.04 and it worked fine, except for a few small bugs, which I'll make videos for a little later. So for this case, I'm just going to go ahead and try 13.10, see what it runs like. You would choose 64-bit because I believe all the DV7s are 64-bit computers. And click Ubuntu 13.10. You can donate if you want, if you really like the software, but I'm not going to donate right now. And it should start the download. Now, I've already downloaded it before, so I'm not going to do it again. Wow, look at that. Windows 8 doesn't work very well. At least not on this PC. Okay, so we won't send and we'll go ahead and close this. Oh, there it goes. Don't put Windows 8 on this DV7. <laughs> we'll just skip that for now. So go to the destination where you saved it. If you got 12.04.3, in this case, I guess, go ahead and right click and click Burn Disk Image. It should open up Windows Disk Image Burner. I believe all computers from Windows 7 and above come with this by default. So, here you would put in your Memorex DVD or any brand as long as it has enough memory. Put it in and click on Burn. That's going to burn the image to the CD. Once that's done, I'm not going to do it in this case because I already have the CD burnt and I don't have another DVD. So we'll go ahead and close that. Yeah, something was wrong there. Okay, well, once you have that burned, this is part of the reason why I'm switching to Ubuntu, by the way. It's causing too many problems on Windows 8. So you're going to want to go to, if you're on Windows 8, hold the Window key and R, and that should open up this Run window. Type msconfig. Okay. msconfig. That's going to open up system configurations. Go to tools and click on computer management. And click launch. That should open up this computer management window. You're going to want to go under storage, click disk management. This might take a while depending on your hard drive, your computer. So, this is your main partition because it's the one with the biggest amount of data. On some computers, you might have a secondary recovery partition. It might even be called recovery. You don't want to miss with that at all. Don't even touch that one. Leave that one alone. And miss with the one that's usually it's the C drive. In my case, it's a almost a 700 gig one. So, I'm going to right click on that and shrink the volume. And the reason we're going to do this is to make room for the Ubuntu system. Here you're going to choose how much space you want to have. In my case, I'm going to set it to 200 gigabytes of data. And in reality, I'm probably just going to share the data between these two drives. So everything I do on Ubuntu is still going to save on the C drive. But like I tell you, we'll do that a little later. So I'm going to shrink. See, if I put zero going to stay at the same so 
we're going to shrink it 200 gigabytes. So so we'll do 200. So let's just do 200 gigabytes. So in megabytes, that would be 200,000 uh, gigabytes. Yeah. So hopefully that's close enough. I don't have a calculator with me since the computer's acting up. So 200,000 megabytes. Hopefully that's 200 gigabytes. We'll shrink the volume. This might take a little bit. We got pretty close. I mean, we in reality, when if we were gonna figure this out, and you want you want to be precise, Windows calculates it by using 1024. So, what you would do is if you wanted 200 gigabytes and it's in megs, so you want to multiply 200 gigs by 1024, so 1024, and that would give you exactly the size of megabytes. I might do this a little later in another video, but since my computer's acting up, I'll wait till I'm on Linux to do the video. So as you can see, unallocated. So we're going to create a new simple volume. Actually, you know what? We'll just leave it at the 200 unallocated. So we're going to close it, close this. And with your DVD in the drive, you're going to restart your computer. And from here, I'll switch to my camera. So you All right, so just to let you guys know, this is the DVD I burned. Hardly took up any space at all. Well, we're going to put it in the drive. And restart the computer. Okay, on these uh, DB7 line, you're going to want to click the escape, hit the escape button various times. But make sure you press it and don't hold it because if not, that'll cause problems at boot. So right here, I'll start pressing it right there in the corner it said it was starting up all right so what you're going to want to do is hit f9 which is boot device options so we'll go ahead and hit f9 so that's going to give us the hard drive or the cd-rom drive see we're going to go from the cd-rom drive there you go now we're booting I'll pause the video for now and I'll come back once it's uh, almost done. Okay, well, it started now. It took about two minutes, two, three minutes. So, it's your option where you want to try it before you install it. This will not do anything to your computer at all. It won't install it, it won't do anything. It'll just let you use it off the CD drive. But if you're ready to install it, just go ahead and click Install Ubuntu. By the way, to let you all know, this is 13, the 13th version, not a, the 12th. So, um, you want to click everything, but you might need to be connected to the internet first. So, I'm going to go ahead and click install third-party software and click continue. Now, here you might want to connect to the internet. This will actually make the installation a lot longer, but it'll make your computer run better and it'll be it'll be more supportive over everything. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and log in to my Wi-Fi. Keep in mind that uh, on the 12th version of Ubuntu, there is a problem with Wi-Fi, but it's only once you put the computer to sleep. There is a fix for that, by the way, and I'll, I have that posted on another video, and I'll link you guys to it. So here it logged in. We're connected. We'll just continue now. You can tell it logged in because there's a Wi-Fi connected symbol up on the top corner. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to want to go to something else, unless you want to completely replace Ubuntu with Windows 8. Then you place here, but this is going to delete everything. It's going to format the hard drive, it's going to blank it, it's, 
you're not going to have access to anything anymore. So, but if you click something else, you can dual boot and you'll have Windows 8 and Windows 7. I mean, and Windows 8 or 7 and also have Ubuntu on the side. So we're going to click something else. Let's hit continue. Make sure you hit something else and then continue. And it's going to look through your hard drive, see which partitions you have. Okay. Remember we made a 200 gigabyte. So that's going to be the free space. It's in Windows, it's called unallocated space. So that's the 200 gigabytes of data. This is your 500. So, And then what you're going to want to do is right click on it. Oh, I'm sorry. You're going to want to hit, I'm trying to think, extension ext4. Make sure it takes up all the space. Well, actually free up some space. So we'll free up 500 gigabytes. No, let me see. Ah, hold on. Number lock is off by default. Just keep that in mind, guys. Now the reason why we're having so many problems is because it's running off of uh, a CD-ROM drive. So that right there freed up 500 gigabytes. Should have. I mean, 500 megabytes. The mount is just going to be a forward slash like that. I'm going to hit OK. I get the feeling we freed up more than we thought. All right. So, you have some free space here. What you're going to want to do, well, you see, 6 gigabytes of free space. That was too much. Well, what you're going to want to do with that is click the plus again, but replace extension for it with swap area. So, you're going to hit OK. And what that does is basically when you run out of RAM on your computer, it saves data there. Something like that. You might want to look that up to be more exact. So, what you've done here and in Windows is you reduce the size of Windows to 500 gigabytes, increase the size of Linux to 200 and added a swap area for the RAM of 600 and six gigs. So we'll click install now and what that's going to do, make sure you have the bootloader on it. Yeah, right there. Hit it at the root, SDA only. Don't have, don't put the one with numbers, just SDA. I believe next it's going to tell you to set up the user account and all that kind of stuff and it's going to do that while it's installing so we'll go ahead and hit uh, your best closest time zone test your keyboard hit continue And then type your name. So I want to log in automatically. I don't want to encrypt my folder. Just the reason I don't want to encrypt it is because I want Windows and Linux to work together. So I can pull files from Windows to Linux and vice versa. If you encrypt it, you're not going to be able to do that. So we'll go hit continue. And I don't want to do this right now, so I'll log in later. Okay, so it's installing Windows, I mean Linux, Ubuntu Linux right there. Wow, I can't talk today. So it's installing Ubuntu right there, 13.10. So I'll come back once it's done and let you guys know how it works. Alright, so <clears throat> about 10, 15 minutes later, it says installation is complete. Now, what you want to do is <clears throat> restart now.
and eject the CD. You might ask you if you want to eject it, but I'm going to do it anyways. So. Ejected it. And this took a look. Hopefully, everything worked out fine. There it goes. I'll give you the list. I pressed the button on accident, the right arrow, but it basically told me Ubuntu or Windows 8. And since I hit the right arrow, it loaded up Ubuntu. So there you go. It's going to take a while to boot up at first. Might even give you some problems at first, but the system runs pretty damn good. I have the CD outside already, so you guys can see it's not running off the CD anymore. There you go. Let's see if it connects to the Wi-Fi. No. Oops, wrong one. Oh, it did connect. Okay, so there you go. Ubuntu 13.10. Or if you did 13.04, then 12.04, well then you're on 12.04. <laughs> Let's Google. There you go. Gmail, everything's working. So just like any new computer, you're probably still going to have to install plugins. <coughs> Also, uh, on Ubuntu, don't be afraid to update. Well, kind of. On this computer, it's not very stable. Well, if you guys have any comments, feel free to put it on the video on the bottom. Um, like and subscribe if you like the videos, and I would greatly appreciate any feedback you guys have. Um, I'll try my hardest to put more Ubuntu videos and related things. So... Have fun using your new system, then go getting in trouble. <laughs> Thanks for watching.